is we know that inflammation produces depression in animals and in people. It's to the point now there are some inflammatory molecules that are used to treat some conditions, some forms of cancer, for instance. And when patients are signed up and they're going to receive these therapies, this administration of cytokines as their therapy that are known to cause depression, they're often given a prescription to go see the psychiatrist to go on the SSRIs before they go get their therapy. So we know inflammation causes depression. We don't know completely how. There's overwhelming evidence from many labs, including my own, that the presence of inflammation in the body activates signals that travel up, you guessed it, the vagus nerve. If you have inflammation in your body, does it cause depression? That's an important question. Because maybe that's why those patients who do get better and go on YouTube and type in some videos of these depressed patients whose lives were turned around with vagus nerve simulators. It's, it'll bring a tear to your eye, some of their stories. 